Good morning. It's Father John. Uh, Karen's assisting me today, my wife Karen. So it's a blessing to be here. We're in the Mary Lutz Garden this morning for our morning prayer. It's a beautiful garden that our flower committee is, the gardening committee is, is taking care of and, and watching over. So a little bit of time. It may be a little shaky as I do. I'm, I'm on my uh, selfie stick today. So we're going to read some prayers and go through morning prayer. And uh, hopefully we'll uh, enjoy this together and find this a, a worthwhile time to be uh, uh, in a space with, uh, with God. Grace and peace to you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. The hour is coming and now is when true worshipers will worship the Father in spirit and truth. For such the Father seeks to worship him. Let us humbly confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. May Almighty God have mercy on you, forgive you all your sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen you in all goodness and by the power of the Holy Spirit keep you in eternal life. Amen. Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Karen will read the Vanity. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are the caverns of the earth and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee and kneel before the Lord our Maker, for he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you would hearken to his voice. Glory, Glory to, to the, the Father, Father and, and to, to the, the Son, Son and, and to, to the, the Holy Spirit, Spirit as it was in the, the beginning, beginning, is now, and, and will, will be forever. forever. Amen. Amen. The first lesson today that Karen will read will come from the Book of Romans. Welcome those who are weak in faith, but not for the purpose of quarreling over opinions. Some people believe in eating anything, while the weak eat only vegetables. Those who eat must not despise those who abstain, and those who abstain must not pass judgment on those who eat. For God has welcomed them. Who are you to pass judgment on servants of another? It is before their own Lord that they stand or fall, and they will be upheld for the Lord is able to make them stand. Some judge one day to be better than another, while others judge all days to be alike. Let all be fully convinced in their own minds. Those who observe the day, observe it in honor of the Lord. Also those who eat, eat in honor of the Lord, since they give thanks to God, while those who abstain abstain in honor of the Lord and give thanks to God. We do not live to ourselves and we do not die to ourselves. If we live, we live to the Lord and if we die, we die to the Lord. So then, whether we live or whether we die, we are the Lord's. For to this end Christ died and lived again so that he might be Lord of both the living and the dead. Why do you pass judgment on your brother or sister? Or you, why do you despise your brother or sister? For we all stand before the judgment seat of God. For it is written, 
As I live, says the Lord, every knee shall bow to me, and every tongue shall give praise to God. So then, each of us will be accountable to God. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, to, be God. to God. Just a little word as we try to not be so shaky here this morning. I hope you're taking the time uh, to call others in our parish family, to talk with them, to check on them. Hope you're caring for yourself during this time. We have so many people in our in our parish that are are need in need of prayer, and uh, I hope that you can uh, take that time not only to call people but to also to to pray for people people so much who are in need. If you have a prayer request, you can get that prayer request to Carol Weisel or Linda Gibbick or Donna Harity or Barb England, any of those on our prayer team during this time. And Karen will that now read Canticle 19 uh, from our Book of Common Prayer on page 94. O ruler of the universe, Lord God, great deeds are they that you have done, surpassing human understanding. Your ways of righteousness and truth, O king of all kings, who can fail to do you homage, Lord, and sing the praises of your name? For you only are the Holy One. All nations will draw near and fall down before you, because your just and holy works have been revealed. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Amen. We'll now continue on with our prayers with the Apostles' Creed. You'll find that in our Book of Common Prayer on page 96. We'll say that together. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven. And is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. We'll continue on with our suffrages. Show us your mercy, O Lord. And grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world. For only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care. And guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth. Your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten. Nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God. And sustain us with your Holy Spirit. Our collect for the renewal of life that Karen will read. O God, the King Eternal, whose light divides the day from the night and turns the shadow of death into morning, drive far from us all wrong desires, incline our hearts to keep your law, and guide our feet into the way of peace, that, having done your will with cheerfulness during the day, we may, when night comes, rejoice to give you thanks through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. A colic for peace. O oh God, the author of peace and lover of concord, to know you is eternal life, and to serve you is perfect freedom. Defend us, your humble servants, in all assaults of our enemies, that we, surely trusting in your defense, 
may not fear the power of any adversaries through the might of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Almighty and everlasting God, by whose spirit the whole body of your faithful people is governed and sanctified, receive our supplications and prayers which we offer before you for all members of your holy church, that in their vocation and ministry they may truly and devoutly serve you through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. We pray for our parishioners and families and friends today in extended care and at home. Jean, Margaret Bagley, Jim Ball, Chris Blackstone, Jackie Callahan, Barbara Clark, Yvonne Clark, Santo Grasso, Agnes Graybeal, Anna and Rob Green, Debbie Harrington, Mary Holden, Mary Kellert, Carolyn Kirk, Francis Mangiano, Herb and Anna Norton, Barbara Police, Francis Slaughter, Carol Smith, Donald Truitt, John J. Tumalo Jr. and Jim West. For the recover healing and recovery of Julie B., Kim Boyd, Michael Boyd, Vivian and Eloise Burns, Beverly and Michael Collins, Tim Cowden, Shan Cousins, Sarah Ann DeAngelis, Ann Ng, Charles Franz, Susan Four, Katie Funk, Tom Gervin, Lisa Grove, Nancy Heister, Cindy Hettinger, Renee Horton, James Kelly, Leah Kilberth and Baby Asher, Eugene Klein, Jane Lorney, Jordan Longinati, Trey M., Frank and Linda Martino, Mary Ann, Sandy McDowell, Amy and Jacob Meadows and family, Chris Miller, Nola, Elaine Orr, Wanda Owens, Emily Penn, Cesar Reyes, Christy Reynolds, Sam, Chad Scott, Doug and Nova Schumann, Cora Sataris, Linda Snyder, Tammy, Kelly Telly, Julie Waterhouse, Beth Wiley, Jean Wiley, Cheryl Wiggins, Nicole Woods, Yvonne, and Parker Zhao. For all those ser serving in the military, especially those overseas, and for the guidance and support of their families and friends. For those expecting the birth of children, Jenna and Chris Mueller, Joshua and Danielle Summers, Crystal and Matt Leopold, Howell and Ray Alacone. We pray for the Holy Spirit to guide and support Charlie, Aaron, Jane, Jean, Megan Anderson, the clients of St. Marian's Outreach, Tom Brickner, the Carr family, Kinsey Hartet, Gabriella Conley and family, the DeAngelis Orr family, the Four family, the Gassaway family, John, Paul, and Nina, Nina Kagan and their son, Megan Le Seiko, Steve McKinney, the Myers family, Robert Neureither, Frank Rinaldi, the Scott family, Kim and Andy Taransky and family, Rick Waterhouse, and Grayson Wagstaff, and Deborah Boyd. Lord Jesus Christ, you stretched out your arms on the cross. One more. that everyone might come within the reach of your saving embrace. So clothe us with your spirit that we, reaching forth our hands in love, may bring those who do not know you to the knowledge and love of you. For the honor of your name, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. We're also gonna to pray today for, for those who are in uh, economic distress, those who are seeking employment, those who are struggling financially during these times, and Karen will read that prayer. Gracious God, we know that your 
love is infinite and that you care about all areas of our life in this time of economic insecurity. Help us to trust that all of our security is in you. Keep us mindful that you always, ha always have and always will provide for our needs. Apart from you, we can do nothing. Merciful God, we ask that you give our leaders the wisdom to guide our nation and the world out of the current economic crisis. Help us to protect the poor, those without employment, and all those who are struggling during this difficult time. Provide for their needs and give them hope. Open new opportunities for them and furnish the resources they need to live with dignity. Encourage those who have enough to share essential resources with those who lack the necessities of life and to do so with humble, grateful, and loving hearts. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Let's say together a prayer of St. Chrysostom. Almighty God, God, you, you have, have given, given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And, and you have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The peace of God that passes all understanding, keep your hearts and minds and knowledge and love of God our Father and of his Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. And the blessing of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you always. Amen. Have a blessed day. Go in peace.